Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to learn uh, about uh, the resolvable uh, private address and uh, this is also a part of a random private address but uh, today I will not uh, do its uh, programming because its programming is related to the security as well so uh, once we will study the security then we will uh, do this uh, programming. For now we will just uh, discuss uh, what is uh, the resolvable address as, uh, because it's also a part of uh, the types of addresses. Uh, you just need to know what it is so uh, you don't miss it once we are in the security tutorials. So it's uh, an address which uh, does not change. So uh, that's the main difference of uh, this re resolvable with the non-resolvable private addresses. It does not change but it can only be resolved using an IRK which is the identity resolving key and uh, it is uh, good for device security because uh, it provides the security so the device must uh, be uh, must meet the following criteria the first uh, bit the most significant uh, bit should be a zero and uh, the second most significant bit should be one so this is uh, the criteria uh, for the resolvable private address. So in that part we so learned that it was different for non-resolvable. We have to use uh, two zeros in the most uh, significant bit. Uh, for the random static address we have to put one one in the most significant bits uh, for the address. But here in our case now we have to make sure the first uh, most significant bit is zero and the second most significant bit should be one. And the uh, rest of all bits should not be all uh, zeros or should not be all uh, one. And uh, here we also have uh, the hash. The devices uh, will be sharing this IRK which is called the identity resolving key. So using uh, this IRK they are able to resolve this address which is uh, mentioned here. So they are going to uh, resolve this address using the IRK. So this was the resolvable private address and it uses to uh, it uses the shared key among the devices uh, the master and the slave device. So we will see this part in the security. So that's it uh, for this uh, tutorial and uh, I hope so you have uh, learned uh, something new about this and uh, if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.